This is the SoCal Update. I'm Kathy Huey. Another lawsuit has been filed against LA Unified over its planned reopening, which by the way, it's happening next week. It's Friday, April 9th. A group of parents has sued the LA Unified School District. The plaintiffs say its plans for reopening campuses starting next week are way too cautious. Education reporter Kyle Stokes joins us. Kyle, what are these parents hoping to achieve with this lawsuit? Well, so this is a group called California Students United, and they want LAUSD students on campuses full time as early as is practical. Uh, They also are hoping to get a judge to strike down LAUSD's adoption of the six foot rule that is uh, six feet of distance between students and staff. Now, that rule is baked into the district's reopening agreement with United Teachers Los Angeles. But since that deal with the teachers union was struck, the CDC has said less than six feet can be okay, which would allow more more students to return in person. Also, these suing parents are hoping to block LAUSD from requiring weekly COVID tests for students returning to campus. LAUSD has faced other legal challenges to its pandemic response. Is there anything that's different about this lawsuit? Yeah, so the parent plaintiffs here have hired the same lawyers who sued in San Diego County, and they did convince a judge there to temporarily block state health officials from enforcing a four-foot distancing rule in classrooms, so a similar argument there about to take place here. Surveys show a majority of LAUSD parents are opting to keep their students online. Again, LAUSD serves a lot of low-income neighborhoods where parents are still really scared about COVID-19. That's a huge factor here. But there are parents who are disappointed with LAUSD's plans for on-campus instruction, particularly in middle and high schools, and they may be hoping for a reopening with fewer restrictions. 